South America, 97 million years ago, a land of titans. Across the vast lands of this massive continent live some of the largest and most awe-inspiring animals to ever walk the face of the earth. These were the titanosaurs, truly massive sauropod dinosaurs that tested the limits of animal biology. Giants like Patagio Titan and Argentinosaurus shook the earth as they walked across what would one day become Patagonia. But not even these most massive of titans were always invincible. The young and the sick were always in danger of a terror that stalked the lands. Reigning over South America was one of the largest terrestrial predators to ever exist. Nearly 40 feet in length and weighing over 5 metric tons, this dinosaur was the top predator of its era. This was the animal known as Macrosaurus, the Titan Slayer. The story of the discovery of Mapusaurus begins in 1993 with the discovery of a closely related genus of dinosaur known as Giganotosaurus. Discovered by Rubin D. Carolini, it would later be described by Rodolfo Correa and Leonardo Salgado in 1995. Between 1997 and 2001, remains of what were originally considered to be specimens of Giganotosaurus were discovered in the Huincul Formation located in Patagonia, Argentina. It wasn't until 2006, however, that these remains would later be identified as a new genus of theropod dinosaur. Named by Coria, along with the famous paleontologist Philip J. Curry, it was given the name Mapusaurus rosei, meaning earthen rose reptile. The various remains found in the boat bed consist of at least seven different specimens that all died at different stages in their lives. Coria and Curry speculated that many of these specimens could have represented a long-term stack of various individuals that happened to have died around the same place over different periods of time, while other paleontologists have actually argued that this was possibly a family unit that all died at the same time. If this is true, this would provide solid evidence for pack hunting in large theropods like what has been previously suggested for Giganotosaurus. The group of animals contained in the bone bed consist of many individuals of different sizes, the smallest of which is MCF-PVPH-108.124, and the largest of which is made up of various different specimens with the same name, MCF-PVPH-108, leading from 0.2 to 0.247. The smallest specimen is estimated to be around 6 meters or 18 feet in length. The largest known specimens can reach a maximum of 11 to 11.5 meters or 36 to 38 feet and are estimated to weigh around 5 metric tons. Mapusaurus belongs to a massive group of theropod dinosaurs known as the Carnosaurs. Specifically in that group, the Carcharodontosaurid Allosaurs. Carcharodontosaurids were the largest members within the larger Allosauroidea family. Allosaurs go back as far as the Middle Jurassic, evolving over millions of years to remain as the apex predators in various environments all across the globe. This would later lead to the rise of the family Mapusaurus belongs to, the Carcharodontosaurids. Carcharodontosaurs were some of the last members of the Allosaurid family. The largest members of this family resided in the clade Carcharodontosaurinae, which contains other close relatives like Giganotosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, Moraxes, and Tyrannotitan. Mapusaurus was discovered in a fossil formation in Patagonia, Argentina, known as the Huincul Formation. The formation's environment during the time of Mapusaurus would have been an arid habitat with seasonal or ephemeral streams. Environment similar to this can be seen in modern-day Arizona in North America. Despite the hot environment, however, various plants and animals of different shapes and sizes can be found in this formation, most fauna of which are also fairly new discoveries. The flora of the Huwinkle Formation contains horsetails, ferns, cycads, gonaras, conifer trees, pine trees, and various other gymnosperms and flowering plants. The fauna of the world of Mapusaurus contains various animals known from as little as mere footprints to as much as full-body fossils. The smallest animals known are the Rhynchocephalian reptiles Patagosphenos and Caecaephilosaurus, which would have served as prey to the smaller theropods known from this formation like the Paravian Oviraptor and the Noasaurid Huinclesaurus. 
Theropods are by far the most common types of dinosaurs to be found. However, remains from the larger theropods can be relatively rare. The Abelisaurs, Trochosaurus, and Elocalicia, the Megaraptorid Aeonoraptor, the Carcharodontosaur Torvenator, and the highly controversial taxon Gualichio aren't known by many remains. The most well preserved theropods from this region, however, would be the Abelisaurid Scorpiovenator, Maposaurus itself, and its biggest competition of all, the new and very closely related Meraxes Gigas. The fact that there were so many predators in the same time and place just goes to show how rough of a life Mapusaurus had by having to deal with so much competition. Thankfully for Mapusaurus, however, prey was also abundant. While various Iguantodon remains have been found in the Huinkle Formation, none of them have been described as of yet. Their descendants, the Hattersaurs, are also known through footprints. Sauropods are possibly the most well-preserved herbivores from this formation. Currently, four genera have been described. The sauropods found belong to the Titanosaur and Rebecchisaurid family trees. Rebecchisaurids were some of the last members of the Diplodocoid family tree, sauropods known for their long whip-like tails. Despite being very common in the Jurassic period, they began to decline in the early Cretaceous and wouldn't make it too far into the late Cretaceous. The Rebecchisaurids from this formation would contain Carthardisauria and Limesaurus. Although large, they wouldn't be as titanic as the Titanosaurs known from this region. By the end of the early Cretaceous to the beginning of the late Cretaceous, Titanosaurs would be at their peak in both body length and weight. The Titanosaurs in Huinkle are both prime examples. Chokansaurus could reach a body size of up to 18 to 20 meters, 59 to 65 feet in length, and would have weighed around 25 tons. To many, that is already a massive dinosaur, but that's puny in comparison to the contemporary Argentinosaurus. Argentinosaurus is not only agreed to be the largest dinosaur known, but also the largest animal to have ever walked the planet. But due to it only being known from vertebra and hind limbs, its size can bounce back and forth from being either smaller or larger than expected. As of the latest papers covering its size, published in 2019 and 2020, Argentinosaurus had a body length of around 35 meters, 115 feet, and would have weighed around 75 metric tons. Other large sauropods discovered and described after 1993 would try to take this title, but nothing has come close ever since. Many depictions of the sauropod Argentinosaurus are also accompanied by a dinosaur known as Giganotosaurus. This is a misconception, however, since Giganotosaurus lived in the Candeleros Formation, which is older in geologic time than the Huinkle Formation. And before the description of Mapusaurus, it was believed that Giganotosaurus also lived in the Huinkle Formation. But this has since been disproven as of 2006. Accurately speaking, Mapusaurus and Meraxes would have served as the common predators for Argentinosaurus and other sauropods that inhabited Huinkle. As for Giganotosaurus, new sauropod remains have recently been uncovered in the Candeleros Formation which were announced in 2021. However, these fossils are currently unnamed. Mapusaurus has actually made quite a few appearances in pop culture in the last several years, mainly in the form of documentaries. As discussed in the ecology and environment section, a lot of depictions of the dinosaur Giganotosaurus, where the animal is interacting with Argentinosaurus, is actually Mapusaurus, as Giganotosaurus never lived with Argentinosaurus, while Mapusaurus did. With this in mind, the first appearance of Mapusaurus in a documentary came in Chased by Dinosaurs in December of 2002, incorrectly labeled as Giganotosaurus. Its next appearance would come in March of 2007 in the documentary called Dinosaurs Giants of Patagonia. This would be the animal's first proper appearance in a documentary. After this, it was also featured in the 2011 dinosaur documentary by the BBC called Planet Dinosaur in the episode known as New Giants. Outside of documentaries, it was also featured in the anime Dinosaur King and the video game Fossil Fighters as the vivasaur known as Mapu. Mapusaurus was indeed a fascinating animal, from evidence of pack hunting in family groups to hunting the largest animals to ever walk on Earth. It was one of the most successful predators in the Cretaceous world. Despite this, Mapusaurus would go extinct by the end of the Turonian stage of the late Cretaceous. Starting at the end of the Xenomanian, the climate began to change, which also led to environmental changes. Many causes for the extinction of Carcharodontosaurids like Mapusaurus, putting the changes within the climate aside, seem to have been mostly caused by the change in the fauna. 
the most impactful being prey items. Many Carcharodontosaurids, if not Allosaurs alone, that existed before and after Maposaurus went extinct after the disappearance of the giant sauropods in general. For example, the North American Afrocanthosaurus went extinct after the disappearance of Sauroposeidon. This was also the same case for the Carcharodontosaurus and Parala Titan in Africa, alongside with the Jurassic Veteropristosaurus and Giraffa Titan. The same goes for Giganotosaurus II in Argentina. Coincidentally, the Titanosaur group known as the Saltosaurus would begin to appear soon after. The tough dermal armor that surrounds their torso would be difficult to tackle for Carcharodontosaurids, whose teeth were only designed to tear through flesh like knives. In addition, competition from other theropods like Abelisaurids and Megaraptor would have also played a role in their downfall. Maposaurus was a fascinating predator, a relic from an era where giant predators hunted the most titanic of prey. Maposaurus represented the final act of the carnosaurs and the apex of their predatory history. There will never again be an animal the likes of Maposaurus, the Titan Slayer. Thank you guys for watching our latest video. For a while there, it didn't seem like we were going to ever get it done, but in the end we banded together and made it across the finish line. The crew for this video is, were, of course, the Primal Earth as voiceover and director, Spino Dragon as writer, editor, and researcher, and the Dinosaur Hunter as graphic designer. Links to all their channels can be found in the description below. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell if you want to be notified for the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll be seeing you in the next one.